guys so i'm just here to do my hair i'm gonna ninja it's bad it's, it's bad so i'm gonna do some ponytail i'm gonna do ponytail braids um yeah It's a month row. Wow. It's a break. Something that I have. I want some coffee. I'm not telling you, man. Why are you like that? Guys, it's a month row. It's so cold. Yo! Hi, Sana. And I'm just gonna get, grab some coffee and a mac and bean because what the fuck? It's so cold. Mac and bean that I'm going to. Mac and bean is closed. Uh -huh. I don't know where I'm gonna find coffee. We went to the wrong Mac and bean. <laughs> Hey guys, um, <laughs> we've been traveling, yeah? we've been traveling, like, I think it's, there's 45 minutes left for us to, for us to arrive to the performing, so, I'm so tired, I'm very tired, I'm tired because I've been sitting, I know you are tired because you and have been sitting and driving. Wait, oh, for little stairs. Um, it's an ice cream. Yes. I am tired. Yeah. Yeah? Thank you, Melissa. Keep it straight, table. For now, and then you're gonna fix it once you get in Durban. Up here, man, just go in the number plate. Oh, la pan. Is that a seven shot in it? My shot would. Hi, 
guys so i'm finally where i'm gonna be staying in katu um it's a very nice small house uh there's three of us who are sharing this house i'm actually exhausted guys but i want to give you guys a tour because um i had to, i have to you know i'm just so in love with this hair but yeah anyways let me just give you guys a quick house tour walk in this is the dining and let me just quickly close here we stand and then this is that tv couch ah uh, yeah i don't know who was eating la probably one of the housemates and then these are the three bedrooms this is the um as you guys can see what it is and then this is our kitchen this is the kitchen two fridges um and then this is the room that i got um it's a really messy yeah man it's just really a mess this is all my stuff i need to take out this bed as soon as i'm settled because i think this is the old bed and then i have to put the new bed yeah so i don't want to unpack and i don't want to unpack and 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 settle while i haven't signed up a contract so i need to wait for that as for that first and then i can start unpacking and buy some work outfits and you know what i'm saying so um oh yeah our bathroom um this place is actually very tiny than, than what i have in pretoria in pretoria i mean i, yeah, I even have my own private bedroom a very huge study table and stuff whereas in this room there's no study table but really what we're here for is working and unfortunately i'm also going to be studying so i need to figure out how am i gonna cope with the fact that i don't have a table here so yeah but guys like i know myself now i know how to adjust into situations i know how to make a plan b like i won't let the fact that i don't have a study area discourage me i can do it okay and as soon as i decided to come here I was mentally prepared, Uruti. It's gonna be a fucking busy year for me. I'm sorry for swearing, but it is what it is. I was so prepared, Uruti. It's gonna be very busy, and I need to make sure, Uruti, I perfectly balance my work life and study life, okay? So, what I wanna do right now is just get on my. It's just a shower. I stink, Kesana, traveling for 12 hours and more. I'm, I'm currently stinking so I need to shower and then I I'm gonna sleep and then when I wake up I'm doing my schoolwork okay so today is a Monday and my medical exam is on Wednesday so tomorrow I have a whole day to rest and make sure my body is ready to get a medical exam I'm currently avoiding junk caffeine all that because I just want water to cleanse me enough and i've been detoxing as well so i want to be internally prepared because i know guti i don't smoke and i drink here and there so i know i would definitely pass the medical exam but i don't want to like i don't want to put things now in my body that would ruin the whole thing because i'd really i would really be sad guys if i don't get um if I don't pass it, I will really get sad. Um, yeah, so if I don't pass, God, I'm just going to travel straight to Pretoria without wasting any time and just continue with my studies. And then I'll keep on looking for another job. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Let me go shower and relax. See you soon. This is the, the bathroom um there's been people staying here so yeah that's why it looks like this yeah this is a shower yeah guys
So guys, I'm at the Aglo American where you do your medical exam. I forgot to bring my job spec, so um, the driver is gonna bring it to me. And in Yolanda, Yolanda, <laughs> hectic. Hey guys, so yo, I'm actually back in my room. I just wanna narrate what actually happened today, which is actually mad. So I was told this and I'll go to today. I'm gonna go for my medical exam um, to check if I'm healthy, fit for the job, and all that. And guys, okay, fine. I woke up ready by 6 a.m. We got there. Only to find out so that I needed to carry a job speak with me, and I didn't carry it. Okay, I didn't have it with me, like a printed copy, and I didn't know this or not, and they didn't tell me. Bye. And then okay fine and then the guy was like okay we're gonna send the driver to bring it to you and then the driver came and bought the spec i didn't even go back inside guys with my job spec because the driver told me immediately that you know you are at the wrong location you have to um go to the other place for you to do your medical and then you will come back here for your induction and all that and I say, I'm telling you, I'm so frustrated because now it's either I can do a medical tomorrow or on Monday. Tomorrow is Thursday, or I have to wait until Monday next week. Monday, I bought um, because I was physically prepared for it, like, I was avoiding drinking EGOC and eating sweets and all that. I wanted to have my natural sugar and uh, only make sure which I had cereal in the morning, even the night before when you take in. Manjula, when you say this, I don't tell you. Yo, guys, I'm so frustrated. And mind you, I don't, I didn't even do groceries here because I was like, okay, I'm gonna do my groceries as soon as I sign the contract. I'm bored, guys. I'm bored. But I think, like Mina. When it comes to everything that I need in life, I have to hustle, okay? Nothing ever comes easy. I'm just used to this thing, you see, go back on some delay and some postponement. I'm used to it, but it's so inconvenient right now because I just wanted to know if I'm this is for me or what. I wanted to sign a contract today. It's, it's boring, Gesana. It's, it's really boring. But yeah. I guess I'm just gonna give time to like study and catch up with my work. What else can I do? Hey yeah, guys. So I've ordered some checkers because I need food, don't have food. And the thing is, guys, yes, I know. I don't know what am I gonna do. Um, I'm just honestly a bit stressed out right now because I didn't get to do my medical today. Um, apparently, they got me in, in a wrong location and it was quite late for me to go to the other place. So, I'm gonna go to the right place again because I'm not tomorrow. So, um, I had to actually buy food. Like, I didn't want to buy food until I signed a contract because what if I don't really get a job and I have to go to Pretoria? Like, I was just being really wise about that. But now, I'm, with, I'm in this situation and I can't stay without food. So I had to... I think I spent 300 on the item.
Let me just not wear this. Like we are on load shedding. Because my eyes are bad. Why are you testing me? Okay, so guys, I'm currently at Gokomila Mines and I passed the medical test. Girl is within the mines. I'm so happy, guys. I'm so happy. Anglo, con things. what happened when I was doing my medical exam okay so I got there hey guys um, the driver was supposed to pick us up at a half past five the guy arrived at quarter to eight mind you we had to be at Cosmosburg by 7 a.m. you know so we had to travel from Katu to post my spec which is basically one hour 30 minutes travel hey guys the driver was late and along the way i felt like crying and i was like panicking as to are we gonna do our medical or what and i was so frustrated and i didn't even want to vlog because i felt like oh gosh i'm in my christ i'm in a crisis i can't even think about vlogging and you guys yo my my patience was really tested there so we ended up getting there and when, when we got there the that white lady was like you guys were just in time you guys were just in time and yeah so we were assisted with um doing our medical and yeah guys yo i'm just so happy the thing about my medical results, the problem was my ear, this one. So my canal is kind of damaged inside, so it kind of affects my hearing a little. They're very strict about the medicals and fitness because of the environment, you know, it makes sense. So the girl passed the medical exam and now I'm just waiting on doing my induction, which should be, um, next week yeah so today i'm gonna go do a bit of shopping i want to buy some jeans and some t-shirts or shirts for work because i don't really have that i don't really have jeans so that's what we're gonna go do i have an account got to fix it so i'm just gonna use my account about having an account i only buy at my fix account if there's a need like not just with tea. i'm going for a lunch day so let me just go get something you know it has to be something important because i think the last time i used the account was when we were going to a breakfast um business don't own me so i had to look great so yeah that's the last time i actually used my account so i've been paying very well as well but you know what i always see people complaining about tfg Whereas you guys are not paying well, okay? If you miss your payment, try to make sure that even the next day you at least pay that 60 rand. That 60 rand, like, it helps because there's not going to be collection fees that are going to be charged to your account so that when you want to close your account, you have to pay for this, you have to pay for that. And I also don't have any 
much subscriptions on my account i didn't subscribe for anything magazines or whatever no because that also adds to your account so this is some heads up guys that's just some tips because i had to do research on it before i put the account with on that team valuable and be sure it's okay this is not gonna affect my credit score instead it's a, it's a build up so i'm very wise guys when it comes to finances like yeah so let's get ready guys um yeah look at my shower cap it's from mr price i will going to hate it so so stash so when i get ready shower go to the mall and come back and actually i don't know how to get to the mall because guys there's no ubers here i'm gonna show you guys on the app there's no ubers there's no bolt you only take taxes or you hike i mean i literally survived through uber i don't trust taxis that much i only survived through uber so now i need to go back using taxis because equatoria it was always now we're using taxis yes yes so i'm now leaving the house um as i gotta walk like a certain distance and then i'll find taxis 19 minutes walk mm. This is how most construction cars look like from this place. I think it was an order online, maybe during the week. Yeah. Hey guys, so today is another day and I went back to Uta Fix. Actually, I want to give you guys a quick life update. The other day, I couldn't find a size. They couldn't replace my card, so I wasted my time basically the other day. Today, I was able to do my card, and then I also found the size on the jeans. I don't know, like, I feel like <laughs> sometimes I mean, if, I have, if I'm having a bad day, it's bad. It gets really bad. But if it's a good day, it gets good. Like, wow. So I got myself these jeans, they are ankle grazers and I love that because I'm going to be wearing some boots, these are high waisted jeans, size 18, the last size guys, you are fat. keep you guys updated as what i do and all that i don't know how i don't know as to in what extent can i vlog because i need to focus on my work 
So yeah guys, I'm here, I'm within first day of work. I'm not even wearing earrings. I'm just wearing this basic tee and jeans. Yeah. That's it. Okay, so guys, I just completed um, I just completed an induction and I've got my check here. Um now oh they also gave me this book. So now um I need to yo know, there's so many things that I still need to do actually. Like what did I wanna say? <laughs> um yeah guys, I'm still processing the fact that I'm an engineer, okay? As I'm still processing it. So, it's hectic. It's, it's dreams come true and it's also scary at the same time. Like, anyways, I need to work. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, this is my day two at work. I haven't, I haven't really been to a site. Um, I only saw it uh, across and uh, the thing is I don't have side boots as yet so I'm just waiting for them to give me my boots today because the ones that I, I had got ruined by paint and I left them in Durban so yeah I'm just waiting for the guy to bring me some side boots and then I'm gonna start going to side but all I've been doing right now is just learning the job spec learning what's been done and what's what is currently happening at the moment and yeah i'm just trying to like figure out how will i like i'm just trying to find my my feet in this program in this project i mean i'm just trying to like find the balance and where do i really need to start um when my day starts okay I forgot my diary at home. I know when I when I when I go to site, I need to like diarize some things and just like note down what it's what has happened. <laughs> And then this is where I'm gonna diarize everything on site. This is the site plan that I'm gonna be referring to, and there's also a pin inside. So let's go. I need some click, guys. I'm literally in my working girl era. <laughs> Too fast, but it's all God's grace, I guess. Hey guys, guess your side today and I'm outside. We outside. <laughs> um yeah. Just wanted to say hi. Hi hi hi. And bye. 